Yo, no intro, no ads, no sponsors, no fundraisers, and this ain't Twitch. Straight YouTube, baby. What's up, people? Yes, you read that thumbnail, correct? Tekken 8 is better than Mortal Kombat 1. You damn right I said that. I say what I mean and I mean what I say. Now, just to clarify something real quick, of course there's gaming on this channel. Of course there are shorts on this channel. But make no mistake about it, this place has always been and always will be an opinion channel. And my opinion matters when it comes to this community, a community of fighting game newcomers. Keyword, newcomers, those that value something that's different than what you're accustomed to. Because I'm gonna give you a different perspective of how a lot of newcomers approach these games due to the fact that people are missing the point of what actually brings us into these fighting game franchises. Now let's get the obvious out of the way. Bandai Namco knows what the hell they're doing here. Just look at this game. This game is fucking gorgeous. The music is ridiculously good. Damn it, as soon as you hit the menu screen, you're already pumped. 32 freaking characters to choose from the get-go? Are you kidding me? All of them with unique special moves? But I know what you're thinking. That should come standard for any new modern fighting game, right? That doesn't back up my opinion on why Tekken 8 is better than MK1 now, does it? Okay, check this out. Mortal Kombat. Sonic Fox and Zombat, two of the best Mortal Kombat players in the world showing off Kenji and Raiden, who also happen to be universally accepted as two of the top tier characters in this game. This is what high level MK1 gameplay is like. Entertaining for a lot of people already devoted to the MK franchise, but eventually you're gonna notice something. Do you see it? After watching a couple minutes of the highest level of fighting for this game, I'm already bored. Why is that? The gameplay simply gets stale real quick. The repetitiveness of the gameplay is just dull. And you think the cameos are what's gonna create the variety? <laughs> yeah, go tell that to all the players who use Cyrax. Even the zoning is lame in MK1. Hey, I get it. All this bloody, mindless carnage on the screen is cool, right? The fatalities, brutalities, fatal blows. If I'm not already invested in this, what's going to bring me into the franchise? What does this game do or provide that's relatable to casual gamers? That question was rhetorical, because right along with Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8 is doing it with their own version of a battle hub. Fucking Zuckerberg is still trying to pull this shit off. As basic as this idea is, it just fucking works. Capcom knew this. Bandai Namco realizes this. Pay attention, Netherrealm. I'll pose this rhetorical question again. What is going to bring casual newcomers in, and not only invested in the game, but help create their own relationship with it? You may think this is pretty fucking stupid, but players like this silly shit, myself included. How many damn spinning bird kicks have you seen in the Street Fighter 6 Battle Hub? Exactly. Hey girl, haven't seen you around these parts before. <laughs> Trying to give me one of these snow bunnies. <laughs> this lounge even has something like this thing called Ghost Match. So you mean I can practice against a CPU version of the player that was kicking my ass earlier? Nice. Look at the environment of this place. It's like very video gaming. How many gamers out there, whether you're a content creator or not, have a glass cabinet filled with consoles and fucking Funko Pops and shit in it? Exactly. Uh, hello. I'm trying to get some service here. Break ended like 15 minutes ago. Bro, there's a grown ass dude with facial hair sitting on the floor fucking Indian style playing on an arcade stick. Tell me that these people don't exist out there. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to the word relatable. Players can come here and get immersed in a world revolving around Tekken and interact with other people who like this game. It's so simple. That's the main reason why Capcom and Bandai are marketing this shit. Now me personally, I approach Tekken 8 in a different light. When it comes to Street Fighter 6, in order to be very good at this game, my skill requires me to be extremely methodical for each and every round. There's literally eight things you have to be aware of the entire time. That's what the mental stack is. It takes a ton of brain power to match up toe to toe against these high star diamond and master rate players. Cause you're not gonna just download these guys. Nah, doesn't work that way in Street Fighter 6. That's why Tekken 8 is my alternative. I use a methodical big brain move approach to fighting with Street Fighter 6 while I can simply butt mash in Tekken 8 and still have fun. And believe it or not, there are a lot of players in the world that just wanna press buttons. And speaking of pressing buttons, 
Here's some matches of a complete Tekken newcomer having mindless fun button mashing his ass off. Enjoy. Get ready for the next battle. for the next battle.
Wunderbar! 